What is good tonight, y'all? Mikey T, the movie star here with some breaking news. That's right. At the beginning of the year, Gilly the Kid and Wiz Khalifa got together on million dollars worth of game to do the Kush Up Challenge. But by the end of the by by the spring, the end of the first quarter, Gilly and Wiz were at odds. Wiz Khalifa had been posting pictures and videos of himself getting into shape, hitting the gym, actually doing a little kickboxing, and Gilly, who likes to have fun with things, kind of made some jokes at Wiz's expense. Wiz has a massive audience, you guys. We all know Wiz, like, Wiz is a massive artist when it comes to touring, when it comes to different type of meet and greets and just fan interaction. A lot of Wiz's fans took uh, disrespect to Gilly's jokes, and they actually flagged Gilly for harassment. Gilly's YouTube, or excuse me, not his YouTube, his Instagram page was actually disabled. At this point in time, Gilly the Kid had to make another Instagram page. He amassed half a million, 400,000 followers within days. And it showed you right there the pull that Gilly the Kid now has as an artist. He is at the most popular he has ever been at this very moment, you guys. And I'm here to report some breaking news. Breaking news, Gilly and Wiz have squashed that beef. The bickering, the dissing between each other, they've all come together now. Wallow, Gilly, Wiz have all come together at one of Wiz's recent shows, and we're going to talk about it today. Also, we're going to talk about Drake, you know what I mean? An icon, a legend in the making, a living legend, you could say, actually doing something that I think is going to be remembered forever. Drake performed in Philly, and Drake sent the respect to Young Cheese, that's right. Drake sent respect to Gilly's son because Drake recognizes Gilly and Wallow are his peers in this industry. And you know what it is, guys. When one of us hurt, we all hurt in this industry. So that's what we're talking about today. It's your boy Mikey T, the movie star. Everybody follow me on Instagram, Mikey T underscore the movie star. Whoever follows me based on this video, I'm going to follow you guys back ASAP. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not. Hit the notification bell, and while you're at it, hit the like on this video right now. Let's get into it. Wallow posted on his Instagram page a photo of himself, Gilly the Kid, and Wiz Khalifa, and he captioned it, Great show tonight. If you scroll over, there's actually a video of the three of them all together where Wallow said, You see what's going on? You see what's going on. This is the first time we saw these three men together since the alleged beef. Uh, call it more of a disagreement. You know what I'm saying? Call it more of a disagreement. But this is the first time we're seeing these three men together. And Gilly is there with absolute positive vibes, you all. Gilly said, yes, sir. He rocked that. He rocked that. So this is post-show Gilly, Wallow, and Wiz all get together. Now, Wallow, of course, has to bring it back to the comedy. Wallow said, I think Gilly and Wallow were smoking some Reggie. Of course, Gilly's going to come out of here, get out of here, and Wiz is going to come back and say, man, if um we were smoking Reggie, then it came from you. Of course, you know, Wallow was locked up for 20 years. Back when Wallow was actually on the street, everyone was actually smoking Reggie. You know what I mean? You couldn't get your hands on what they have this day and age. You know what I mean? But the fact that Gilly and Wallow and Wiz were all here on friendly terms, much like they began the year, you know what I mean? It just brought a massive smile to my face. Obviously, it brought a smile to Gilly's face, and I'm sure there's going to be a lot of fans out there who are just happy that this whole miscommunication has now been solved. You know, uh, Wiz took a shot back at Wallow. Wiz said, you still got that weed that's tied up in a nickel bag and a knot. And then he started showing them how they would used to, back, back in the day, break open them nick bags, have, use, literally having to use your teeth to get the knot out. So yeah, um, also I wanted to talk about uh, Drake coming out, but you know, just seeing the end of this issue with Gillian Wallow is just a very positive thing. You know what I mean? It's just another example 
of uh, two men being able to come together after a tragedy and wipe or, or sweep their minuscule po- problems under the rug. So major respect to Wiz on that and major uh, respect to Gilly on that one as well, you know, for being uh, receptive to that. You know what I mean? Because obviously Gilly said it himself. It's a dark time for him right now. You know, losing his son has left a hole in him that he will never recover from. You know what I mean? A lot of people would shut themselves out from the world at this point. So I think it's really great that Gilly the Kid is out there and he's making a positive example for everybody watching. Just like him and Wallow said that they would do. And, you know, another positive example, something that, you know, um, a lot of people in Philly are going to remember. I know Mac and Gilly will remember this forever. You know, Drake actually came to Philly and Drake had quite a statement to say about Young Cheese. Um, Drake said, Philly, I appreciate you embracing me with open arms. He said, let me take my jacket off early tonight before we get started. One of our friends, our brothers in this, lost his son. I want to dedicate this show tonight to Cheese. Y'all make some noise for Gillian Cheese. Spread some love and positivity. Guys, what a message from Drake. You know what I mean? When you got the biggest artist in the game coming out here and showing his condolences. You know what I mean? And furthermore, doing it in the city that Cheese is from. You know what I mean? City, uh, Philly is the city of brotherly love. Right now, uh, they need to be embraced by others outside of their city. And that's exactly what Drake is doing right here. You know, and we're getting, a, there's a lot of love pouring in from a lot of other people right now. As Gilly said, it's not only from his family and friends, but it's everybody that showed up to go to Gilly Fest. And I know everybody that showed up to Gilly Fest was not just from Philly. Gilly is commanding that audience, and you know what I mean? And everybody is standing strong behind Gilly, you know what I mean? As I am, y'all. So, man, it's great to see a lot of these artists coming together. Like I said, Meek Mill standing beside Gilly, Mike Knox stepping up, all the major figures coming together. Shout out to Bump J, shout out to Spado, you know what I mean? Shout out to Bianca, you know what I mean? Shout out to all the figures, though, Dutch. Shout out to Ablava, you know what I mean? Um, Rest in peace, Young Cheese. Rest in peace, Young Cheese. And my condolences to the family. Everybody watching this video, thank you very much, guys. You already know who I am. I started working with Gilly Young in my career, a few years into my career. You know what I mean? So to see him elevate the way that he has, it's just amazing. And, you know, I just, my heart goes out to him having to deal with this tragedy from within his family right now. But thank you all for tapping in, man. Um, Be sure to subscribe if you're a first-time viewer. Hit the notification bell. I do a lot of live interviews, a lot of live streams going over um, topics, um, you know, breaking news topics or um, reviewing albums. I do a lot of different content on the channel. So if you're not familiar, I'm Mikey T, the movie star. Subscribe up. And hit that like button, y'all. Thank you guys for tapping in, and I will see you on the next episode.